Hello from Seoul. You really think mapo tofu is the thing only restaurants can make? Or are you afraid of cooking Asian food at home even though it's so easy? From now, don't worry about it. You can do it. And if you do, you may taste the best mapo tofu that you ever had. All right, let's get started. You will need ground pork, bell pepper, green onion, garlic, ginger, and tofu. Since this is shichan food, we need this shichan pepper for the spiciness. But I can't say you should buy this stuff only for this one recipe. Because I know you will find this covered in dust next year or even later. For information, it's not my story. Trust me, it's not. First, let's prep some bell peppers. Please chop them into small pieces. These guys will definitely make your dish more beautiful. So I highly recommend using two Two colors green and red also if you want to make it extra spicy you can replace them with some chilies next green onion need some words for the green onions it's always more green onion more delicious just finely chop it as much as you want but still some of you might want to know the exact amount of green onions then i'll say about 30 grams of green onions would be enough or even more this time finely mince some ginger for this a small amount of ginger would be enough about the size of your fingernails would work I'll say 2 or 3 grams will be perfect. By any chance, if you have some minced ginger in the freezer just like me, please go ahead and use it. For information, I always keep it in the freezer but to show you how to prep it, I bought it from groceries. You're welcome. Next, finely chop 2 cloves of garlic. If you have this kind of giant Chinese knife at home, bring it and smash the garlic. Then you will look super cool. But the most important thing is you should bring somebody and let them watch. If you can't, bring your phone and film yourself at least like I'm doing it. Wanna no secret? I don't even remember when was the last time I used this. Maybe 10 years ago. Lastly, let's work on the main ingredient, tofu. For this recipe, I'm gonna use soft tofu. Of course, you can use farm or medium tofu, but I strongly recommend this because the texture is fantastic. Trust me, it is incredibly soft, so you will feel the taste of heaven. And more importantly, this looks way fancier when it's cooked. Trust me again. This will make your mapo tofu more gorgeous. If your tofu is tightly packed like mine, you won't come out easily. In that case, make a small cut on the back. Then, ta-da! Pretty good tip, right? You already knew it? Really? Then, sorry about that. Anyway, cut 300 grams of tofu into nice little cubes. The size really doesn't matter, but if it's too small, you can't fully enjoy the texture, so please be aware of that. Now, boil some water in a pot. Why? Because we're gonna blanch our tofu. Our stoves don't have that large flame like Chinese restaurants, so if you just use cold tofu that's been sitting in the fridge for hours, it's gonna take a long time to heat it up, which means it will be more likely to break apart, and you will end up with something like porridge not mapo tofu. However, if you heat it up beforehand, you don't have to worry about it because we can reduce the cooking time. This little tip will help your tofu survive. Once they are warm enough, gently take them out and set it aside. Now let's make the sauce. In a small mixing bowl, put 1 tablespoon of Chinese chili bean paste, half tablespoon of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, 1 tablespoon of mirin, 1 teaspoon of sugar, and give it a mix. Actually, we're supposed to use Shaoxing wine, but I replaced it with mirin because I ran out of it. But it's gonna be alright. Don't worry about it. You don't have mirin either? Then just skip it. No worries. This time, in one cup of water, add a half tablespoon of chicken powder and mix it. You can also use chicken stock and if you don't have both, then just go for water. There'll be slight difference in taste but it'll be still delicious so don't worry about it. Lastly, we need starch water. In a small mixing bowl, put one tablespoon of cornstarch, one tablespoon of water and mix it. That's it. Now let's get to cooking. In a wok, put 1 tablespoon of cooking oil, 1 and a half tablespoons of chili oil, and place it over medium heat. If you can't handle spicy food, you can skip the chili oil. Just go for the cooking oil. That should be alright. On the other hand, if you really love spicy food, then just go for chili oil. It's all up to you. Next, I'm gonna add 130 grams of ground pork and stir fry it. In this step, be sure to break that up, or there's no point of using ground pork. Once it's 
cooked on the outside, add the green onions, ginger, garlic, and stir fry for about 30 seconds. Now change the heat to high heat. Pour the sauce around the outside and cook it for about 30 seconds. This will give us the smoky umami flavor that you're looking for. Once you can smell the amazing aroma, add the bell peppers and stir fry for another one minute. Since I'm a huge fan of spicy food, I'm gonna add Vietnamese chili peppers. Some of you might wonder why I didn't put the chilies in the beginning. That's because they burn so easily, especially when you stir fry them in the oil. So it's better to add in the last step and quickly stir fry. Trust me, if they are burnt, it's not pretty. It's not. Let's pour one cup of chicken stock we prepared. Once it starts to boil, add the tofu, half a teaspoon of vinegar, and let it continue to boil for about 2-3 to three minutes. And if you really want to try authentic mapo tofu, then you can add a little bit of toasted ground shichan pepper now. About 1 teaspoon will be enough. If you really don't want to buy shichan peppers but still want some authentic vibe, then let's add a half teaspoon of shichan peppercorn flavored oil. It can be a good substitute. Now to thicken up the sauce, let's pour the starch water and gently mix it around so that the tofu doesn't break apart. But are you still worried you will end up with mapo porridge? Don't worry about it. You just need to push it around almost like scratching the bottom of your wok. Then your tofu will be completely safe. But if your spatula or ladle is metallic or sharp so you can't do that then gently twirling your wok can help. But if you get big jelly in your mapo tofu because it didn't work, I'm not responsible. Alright, turn off the heat and let's drizzle 1 teaspoon of sesame oil for some extra fragrance and gently mix it around. Now transfer it to a serving plate and a little bit of green onions for color. What do you think? It's way simpler than you think, right? You know what? You'll be more surprised if you taste it. Okay, let's call our taste tester. Claire. <gasps> 대박 맛있겠다. <laughs> I don't even know since when, but I became a huge fan of tofu. And this is one of my favorite tofu dishes. Can't wait. 어떡해. 딱 현재 느낌이 느껴진다. I don't want to break the tofu. Ready? Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Incredible. It's so good. 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 It's 그 정도로 장난 아니야. 음, 밥이랑 같이 먹겠어. 쌀밥 이렇게 올려서. Let me try it. 음, 음, 음. 밥이 완벽하게 만들어주네. 둘이 너무 잘 어울려. 이건 뗄래야 뗄수 없는 관계야. 그지? 사천 음식이 워낙 매운 걸로 유명한 음식이다 보니까는 도전을 못한 사람들도 꽤 있었었을 것 같은데 이 정도면 너무 맵거나 얼얼할 정도까지는 아닌 것 같거든? It's not too spicy, so I'm sure you can handle it. 맵기는 맵나 봐. 등에서 땀이 나고 있어. 행복해. 이런 맛있는 거 먹을 때 행복해. Today, I showed you very simple but fantastic mapo tofu. From now on, you don't have to go to a restaurant or wait in a long line for takeout. Seriously, don't be afraid and please give it a shot. Something magical will happen to you. Alright, this is it for today and I'll see you next time.